It is Friday, November 21st, 2025, and we're tracking a wet weather pattern as we're getting closer to the Thanksgiving holiday and also the weekend after it. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. It was kind of a wet morning for some areas across the state. We still have this cloud cover that's hanging out over Maui County and also over Oahu. A little bit more sunshine over near Hawaii Island out there right now. We're also seeing these showers that are just to the south of Kauai and off towards the west as well. You can see this is over the last four hours, some heavier showers moving out there. But I'm going to zoom out because I want to show you some of what's going on in the northern Pacific. We've got this weak developing cold front out there that's off towards our northwest. This is going to fall apart as we're going into the weekend. This is also going to be one of the reasons we're seeing lighter trade winds out there on Saturday and Sunday. And off further in the northwest, some action is going to start developing. We're watching the development of another mid-latitude cyclone as we're going into the back half of this week that could bring a heavier chance for rainfall over the western half of the state going into Black Friday and potentially Saturday. So here's what we're tracking out there. We've got lighter trade winds this weekend because of a weak frontal boundary that's going to be off towards our north. More sunshine throughout Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And there, we're also tracking a couple of fronts that are going to be moving in next week. Let's break it all down. I want to show you what's going on. We do have a first alert up, an alert up from the National Weather Service. A small craft advisory is currently up between Maui County and Hawaii Island until 6 a.m. on Saturday. Easterly winds between 25 knots or around 25 nights, knots and seas close to 7 to 10 feet. Here's a look at the big picture, the overall weather pattern out there. You can see yesterday we were taking a look at the water vapor satellite imagery and we were talking about how some drier air is going to be moving in at the mid to upper levels. You can see that play out over the last six hours on our water vapor satellite loop. Again, if you haven't watched before, I show this graphic a lot, just showing you the moisture content in the atmosphere. But what's really Really tough about this is the water vapor satellite imagery only gives you a good clear picture of what's going on at the mid levels you can see some drier air moving in towards the northern and western half of the state so again it's going to be a little bit drier out there cloud cover is going to start to diminish as we're going into saturday and sunday sunny conditions are expected for monday and tuesday let's break down the surface pressure giving you an idea of where the high and low pressure systems are again overall we've got trade wind flow going into saturday and sunday we've got ridges up towards our north west and also to the northeast a little bit of weakening in high pressure to the north of us but let's just play this out let's go a little bit further in time we've got that very weak frontal boundary that's off towards our northwest like i mentioned this is going to fall apart as we're going forward in time so you can see this plays out going into saturday and sunday kind of get fills in towards our north and then we're seeing the development of another trough that's going to be moving towards our north going into Saturday and Sunday. And why I said we're expecting a wet weather pattern is all because of the setup of this low pressure off towards our north and the northeast ridge, this high pressure off towards our northeast. So if we play this out going into the middle of this week, you're going to see the clockwise circulation of air around this high pressure system pulling up air closer to the low pressure towards our north. And when we see that kind of pattern out there, we will be seeing moisture, humidity, and instability getting pulled up from the south, getting pulled up from closer to the equator out there, giving us a better chance for some showers. So Monday and Tuesday are going to be relatively dry, but as we go into Tuesday evening, Wednesday, and Thursday, you're seeing a better chance for some showers. So Thanksgiving, maybe a good chance for some sprinkles out there. And then long term, like I mentioned, going into Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and also the following weekend, we've got another mid-latitude cyclone that's going to be developing. I don't want to show you too much there because again so much is going to change in the weather models going forward but we are tracking another chance for some heavier rainfall out there our mid-level flow going forward we're going to play this out not too much of a change in the weather pattern over the past couple of days of the mid-level flow we've got this disturbance that's going to be hanging off towards our northeast still giving us a chance for some showers out there but overall with the drier air that's moving in at the mid-levels still going to be relatively dry throughout saturday and sunday and then going into the middle of <laughs> Excuse me, I uh, had a voice crack there. I guess I am 14 years old. Uh, let's just keep going on. So here we go. Mid-level flow out there. Uh, you can see we've got this trough moving in from the northwest. It's a very weak trough going into Wednesday and Thursday. And then going into Friday and Saturday, the development of that next trough, the next chance for heavy rainfall is going to be dipping down from the northwest. This is also playing out at the upper level flow. 
you can see going forward a little bit of a trough hanging out over Saturday and Sunday over the state at the upper level. Still a chance for showers out there, but drier air is going to be moving in. Going into the middle of this week, we've got a weaker trough that's going to be hanging out just to the north of us, giving us a better chance for some showers. This is also reason, the one of the reasons we're going to be seeing the humidity and the instability getting pulled up from the south. Long term, we start to see the jet stream dipping much further southward. This is Friday into Saturday, potentially giving us a chance for some heavier rainfall out there. Let's play this all out in our first alert future cast. I've kind of given you a wider view before we get into the local view out there. Going forward, we'll see a few showers throughout Saturday and Sunday. You start to see the cloud cover uh, diminishing going into Saturday and Sunday because of that drier air that's moving in. That weak frontal boundary that we're talking about kind of falls apart towards our north. Let's zoom out a little bit, show you the next front. This is Tuesday into Wednesday. We see another front fall apart towards our north. Not too much of an impact to us other than making the winds pretty light out there and giving us southerly winds. And then moving into the back half of this week, Thanksgiving into Friday, we're watching this mid-latitude cyclone develop, develop the counterclockwise rotation of air associated with it. And you're seeing it potentially get closer to us. But again, I don't want to show you too much further than this, just other than that we're watching the trends right now in the weather models because, again, that is going to change a lot. Uh, a quick look at our European forecast, uh, the future radar out there. You can still see some showers hanging around throughout Saturday and Sunday, but overall more sunshine is going to be poking through, especially as we're going into Sunday and Monday. A few sprinkles out there, mostly focused over windward areas. Monday and Tuesday looking to be relatively sunny, and then going into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to be tracking more moisture out there. Again, here's the pattern playing out kind of similar in the GFS, the American model. Still seeing some clouds out there for Saturday. More sunshine Sunday into Monday. And then we're going to be watching for the better chance for some wet weather. You're even seeing clouds building in again on Wednesday as we start to see more moisture funneling in from the south. Our winds outside, east northeast at least between 15 to 20 miles per hour. A little bit breezy at times this afternoon. Going into the rest of this evening, going to get a little bit weaker. That's also true for Sunday morning around five miles per hour statewide and then also going into sunday and sunday afternoon between 10 to 15 miles per hour so more typical trade wind flow out there and of course with the lighter winds we might be seeing some lighter fog creeping up towards maui county and other parts of hawaii island overall the fog forecast from uh ma noah staying off towards the west and southwest of hawaii island not really impacting the rest of the state as we're going into Sunday and Sunday afternoon. Our surf and shoreline forecast, north and west facing shores around 7 to 10 feet, west facing shores right around 5 to 7, south facing shores 1 to 3, east facing shores are also dropping around 3 to 5 as the trade winds are getting a little bit smaller. We are tracking a couple of larger swells that are going to be moving in, one coming in Saturday, a much larger one that's going to be moving in going into Tuesday and Wednesday, could potentially reach high surf warning levels out there, so we're going to be watching that pretty closely. Here's our island by island forecast as well for your Saturday. Over on Kauai, we've got isolated showers, mostly sunny conditions. East northeasterly is between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Moving into Oahu, 85 for a high temperature out there. Waking up around 74 in town tomorrow. Isolated showers also expected, mostly over the windward side of the island, island remind you. Mostly sunny and breezy over Maui County, 86 for Kahului, 70 degrees for a low temperature over there. Waking up, 84 in Kailua Kona. Isolated showers, mostly sunny conditions. A few showers possible over near Hilo tomorrow. And light and variable winds expected over the eastern parts of Hawaii Island. Still lighter winds expected over the northern portions of the Big Island. We're also tracking the tropics, but again, no new tropical cyclones are expected over the next seven days. Hurricane season ends at the end of November. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Smash that notification bell. And hopefully next time my voice will not crack in one of these forecasts. I can't believe that that is something that's still happening to me. All right, we're going to end it here. I'll see you next week, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.